Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bono Podcast and welcome to Star Player Spotlight. We are looking at all the star players available in Blood Bowl 2020. So whether it's from the rulebook or a Spike magazine, we're looking at what the star players do, how much they are and why you should take them. So today we've got a star player that's recently come out in Spike 13. So Scylla and Fingrim is a Chaos star player. It's got the favourite of Rule and is a very frenzy heavy player. So landed in the Corn Spike magazine... Corn is full of Frenzy and Claws, and Scylla fits in bang on with that now. So that's pretty fair. I mean, you can tell. Look at him. Very Corn heavy player. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what he does, how much he is, and why you should run him. So like I said, Scylla is a favoured of dot 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 player. He's favoured of Corn. So basically any of these any of the chaos teams can run him so that's chaos chaos dwarves chaos renegades corn and nurgle can run Scylla. so Scylla is a big guy that's his role his role is to frenzy mighty blow claws things to death so think of him as a bit of a win more situation for chaos chaos all of these teams here can take big guys they can take big guys with frenzy with the exception of, of Nurgle there, they all have access to things that can chomp up other stuff. What Scylla gives you is basically a bit of an upgrade to that. So that's where Scylla fits in. So Chaos, I mean, you've got a choice of the Ogre, the Troll, or the Minotaur. So you've got some Frenzy there. You've got some big guy strength. Chaos Dwarves has got the Mino. Chaos Renegades have got everybody. Corn has got the Bloodspawn. And this guy is basically an upgraded Bloodspawn. Now, what it does do is give the Nurgle team an opportunity to take something with frenzy that said i guess you've also got grashnak kicking around as well but for now let's have a look at how much he is and what he does okay so Scylla and fingrim comes in at 200k movement 5 strength 5 and 4 plus and armor 10 plus basically he's an armor boosted blood spawn at this point so the big guy from corn team this guy for uh, what 40k more immediately gets plus one armor that's already pretty useful so skills wise claws frenzy lona four plus mighty blow plus one prehensile tail thick skull and unchanneled fury so with the exception of uh, prehensile tail and thick skull that is absolutely exactly the same as a blood spawn so there's a couple of things to take there first of all he gets prehensile tail so this guy gets prehensile tail plus one armor and thick skull for 40k which is basically a bargain so on the plus side, you're looking at Strength 5 with Frenzy, Claws, and Mighty Blow. That is a monster combo. So it's you can't stack Mighty Blow and Claws like you used to be able to. So what that basically means is that he's always breaking open people's armor on an 8+, plus and is basically always going to be applying that Mighty Blow to the removal point. So if you do the numbers on that, basically, what? over half the time is going to break the armor and over half the time your guy is going to get knocked out as a result so that is a pretty big combo there that means that Scylla is going to be able to have a go and remove some people and because he's strength five and because he's got that frenzy piece he's going to be throwing four to six die blocks as in two followed by another one and three dice followed by another one so you get the opportunity there to kind of control that frenzy take the push if you need to to try and roll it again you get that extra bit of positioning that frenzy gives you especially when you're this strong but realistically what you're trying to do is throw as many dice as you need to get the little tiny explosions which are, <laughs> which allow you to roll the armor dice unchanneled fury is going to be a bit of a nuisance when it comes to running this star player because that means that every now and again when you roll a one he's not going to be able to do what you want him to do that's such a nuisance when it comes to star players however if you think about building a roster specifically for a tournament you are going to be upgrading your standard bloodspawn to Scylla for 40k and in that regard he's going to be exactly the same as your standard big guy and in fact in all the chaos teams in all the favored of teams your big guy is going to have one nega trait or another so this guy having that kind of nega trait kind of just fits in but this special ability here is awesome so fury of the blood god basically means that Scylla once per game when rolling unchanneled fury if he fails unchanneled fury while making a block action instead of screaming in the air and doing nothing he actually just gets to make two block actions. That's it. That's the rule. So once per game, if he fails his unchanneled fury and he's in contact with actually, you know what? If he's in contact with two people, it's easy. But technically, it says make two block actions and doesn't say it has to be at different targets. So when this guy fails an unchanneled fury block, 
but it's going to happen in the game because statistically you know what it should happen he gets to block twice instead so you're going to have a go at taking out one guy and taking out another guy it is a bit complicated when it comes to frenzy and I think we're going to need a bit of an FAQ. For example, does he make one block, frenzy, follow up, then do another block? And technically, that's how it rules. He makes two block actions. It doesn't say he makes them one at a time. It doesn't say they make them at the same time. It doesn't necessarily say he has to make it at the same target or two different targets. What it does mean is that whichever way you read that rule and however it lands, whether it's clear or not, this guy is going to be throwing four to eight dice. And when you've got mighty blow and claws if you are powering down dudes they're going to stay down so that is a really cool boost so for 40k of an upgrade from your blood spawn for 50k upgrade from your minotaur you don't have horns i'll give you that but what you do have is a ton of frenzy a ton of strength and a good little extra bit here where one per game you're just going to get out of failing your unchanneled fury which can be absolutely massive he's tougher than a minotaur as well and prehensile tail may come in every now and again because let's face it if your um, if your opponent is lined up against Silla, what they're going to do they're going to try and dodge away and stumping those elves dodging away to a three plus is going to be massive because if you swing a turnover and someone's in base contact with Silla, it's going to be more and more dice so you've decided to run Scylla as an upgrade to your big guy and there is this model. So straight away you can find a very cool model for him. So he is representative of a blood beast. He's got his magical little socks there as well which is cool and a thematic base which you can kind of take or leave. Now Scylla comes in at Forge World at I think £28. Uh, so it is not a cheap model just for a single dude. Um, oh no I'm wrong it's £37. Wow, okay, fine. So Scylla is a cool model, it's very stylized. It's got those characteristics of one of our favorite sculptors, Windsor Chalk, used to do individual models. Got bought by Games Workshop, basically. Went to work for Games Workshop, and this has got all the hallmarks of a Windsor Chalk model. It's got that, that Blood Bowl, that cartoony element to it that just means that it's gonna be an insane amount of fun to play, uh, to paint. But at 37 pounds, you may be in the market for something different. And when it comes to star players, third party companies have got a ton of choice for you. And the cool thing about this guy is it can be any big guy. So if you've got a particularly grisly, terrifying looking troll or um, ogre or something like that, you can definitely just run it and say, look, this guy is going to be Scylla for the game. I love this model here. So this is from Grebo Games. This is Golgoth, uh, the Fang of the Abyss. And he's got the same kind of pose. He's got the same kind of movement got the tail got the tusks got that kind of weird chaotic also like element to it looks like actually looks very much like a kind of war machine model like from hordes or something anyway golgoth fang of the abyss from grebo 9.99 euros so you can get Scylla. it's a great model 37 pounds is quite prohibitive this guy 9.99 in euros so that comes to about probably nine nine british pounds all right you're gonna have to pay for postage um it's about it's quite a lot from grebo if you're going to be buying something for the uk but realistically you can just get a bunch of models work with the rest of the guys in your club you know three people getting an order from grebo takes the postage down to like five pounds a piece and then this guy comes in at 14 pounds and i would pay 20 pounds for this guy because it is bigger and better than a lot of the forge world models so Scylla and Fingru, my choice for an alternative model is galgoth the fang of the abyss from grebo games all right so that's Scylla. Scylla is a great upgrade to a big guy on a chaos team um, if you are running a league and it comes to a point where you need some bash, you've got some you've got some great choices when it comes to chaos teams. Um, Scylla is a budget at 200k. That is a very cheap star player for something this strong. Unfortunately, there's it's it's in that price point where there's a few different choices to make. So Hackblem is a great star player for helping you win the game. Scylla is a great star player for punching things. So if your Chaos team is down 200 and something K, actually taking Scylla is going to give you a genuine strength threat that will touch any opponent. Because of that clause element, it doesn't matter what you're coming up against, it is going to be a threat. And 200K is a pretty reasonable price for a star player at that point. There is a couple of other choices that I think mean Scylla might be relegated to kind of B-grade stardom. And I guess the first of those is uh, Grashnak, which is the strength 6 of Minotaur at 240k. So when it comes to having 250,000, you've got a lot of different choices you can run for your Chaos team. 
Grashnak is potentially better than Scylla. Grashnak doesn't have that claws element, so if you're up against a team with a lot of big armor, then actually Scylla might give you that advantage. The other thing you can do is take Creek Rust Gouger, who's a strength 7, movement 5, ball and chain for 170k. So Scylla is in the pack with Hackflem, who's got great agility and movement, with Creek Rust Gouger, who is strength 7 and a movement 5, ball and chain with a free auto bribe, basically. So one entire half is going to be spinning around. So again, like if you're looking for that bash element to boost up your team and i don't know i don't know how bad your time is going if you're looking for a, a bruiser on a chaos team but um creek is going to give you an option as well but at 200k Scylla is a very good upgrade to a chaos bloodspawn if you're running in the tournament if you don't have enough to take uh you know uh, grashnak you don't have enough to take morgue then 200k Scylla as an upgrade over a blood beast is i think an absolutely auto pick that special ability mixed with just the fact that he's got a bit of more armor, that thick skull and prehensile tail basically for free is the best 40k I think you can spend in Blood Bowl. If you're, a, if you're a corn team, if you are a chaos team, you can upgrade your big guy for not a lot of money in a tournament setting and will just be better. So we might see a lot of Scylla's in that regard, but I think given the choice, Grashnak or the Creek, the Creek, Grashnak, Greek and Hackflem may be more of a set piece pieces but this guy here will line up plenty and do much, much murder. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of Scylla in this format. I like it. I like it. And uh, I'm going to disappear. We'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy blocking. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to help support the channel even further, please like and subscribe or come join us on our Patreon. We have early access to content. We get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can. Or you can get yourself some Bonehead Podcast merch on our Spreadshirt site. So if you want to support a team, especially for the Bonehead Championship, you can pick up a shirt, a mug, things like that. It all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it. Anyway, links below. Thank you very much. Happy blocking.